Hello, I'm Karen Hendricks with Celebrate Gettysburg Magazine, and today we're going to spend 10 minutes talking about plants. How fun is that? We are at one of Gettysburg's newest but thriving small businesses, Sagebrush Shack, and I'm here with the owners, the co-owners, a mother and a daughter. I'm here with Sage Jaquez. I'm sorry, I butchered that. <laughs> <laughs> we even practiced. I'm here with Sage Jaquez. Jaquez. So sorry. It's all right. And it looks like Jacques, but it's Jaquez mm -hmm. and Heather Margonas. Thank you so much for joining yes, us hello. today. Hello. Hello. And sharing your plant wisdom. I first want to ask you and check: Do you both have green thumbs? Yes. <laughs> well, we don't paint our fingernails green, but yes, yes. we do have green thumbs. Oh <laughs> uh, well, your shop is beautiful. It's thriving. There are so many different kinds of plants. It's just. Um, gorgeous beautiful it's obvious that you know what you're doing and that you know how to care for plants i have to admit i love plants but my plants don't always look quite so healthy oh. so i want to ask what are some common mistakes that i make that maybe we make with our plants at home i think one of the most common mistakes is lighting mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will put the plant a little too far away from the or from the window where it's not getting enough skylight mm -hmm. um, so if a big thing that i'll do is take my phone camera and kind of go at the plant and look or have the camera point at the window and if you see blue sky it's usually getting a decent amount of light, um, but if you don't see any sky at all from where the plant is, it's probably not getting enough light. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now, depending mm -hmm. on the plant, um, I mean, you have some plants that like a lot of direct sunlight, some mm -hmm. that don't, so it all depends on the plant. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And what are some of the more easier, um, like, knock on wood you're never going to kill a plant but um <laughs> what are some of the more easier plants for people to grow at home i'm going to say pothos, pothos. um sansevarias yep i would say yeah those two are like the most common okay. um sansevarias also known as snake plants mm -hmm. those are very popular they can tolerate a very low light uh but they do prefer a higher light they'll grow quicker if they have more lighting Pothos, the more lighting they get, the bigger their leaves will get. You know, they'll do, they'll thrive better, but they can tolerate that lower light. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And do you have handy either one of those plants to show people what they mm -hmm. look like? I, I, yeah. 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 I'm trying to see if I have here. So they were telling me they have at any one time, they probably have close to 500 plants here in the shop. <laughs> it's just a matter of finding them. <laughs> the majority of them are okay. all different. And For example, yeah. this is a, a global green pothos and they're gorgeous. They, you know, vine down. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love this one. It has like a lighter green tint on the inside mm. and then like a darker green on the outer. Mm. Yeah beautiful patterns and then so I feel like here. most people know what a snake plant looks like mm -hmm. I've also heard it called mother-in-law's tongue yes. is that right yes <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wanna, let me grab yeah. one of the other this is a golden flame sansevieria uh, it has these bright yellows in here and some like dark greens. They are absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love these ones. And and you have them in reusable pots or yes. biodegradable. Mm -hmm. Biodegradable. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So they're made out of a cocoa coir. Um, we love using these because they do get a lot of airflow to the roots, mm -hmm. um, and they are pretty durable. Eventually, you'll have to like change out the pot or put it in um, a new. You can just put it right in the dirt. It'll, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. do its thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we absolutely love these, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't like to repot plants, so yeah. we kind of do it for mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then there are some mm -hmm. other styles oh, that yeah. aren't like the regular common type of. Yeah, yeah like a braided snake, snake plant. A braided mm -hmm. snake plant. Yeah. Wow. That's and cool. then this one is a mini. Bonsai, mm -hmm. um, and they're cool. They kind of look like a starfish uh, sansevieria, where they have like the little arms that stick out. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me of an aloe plant. Is it related to an aloe plant? Uh, they are not, but it is very similar to. I mean, like yeah. the shape of an aloe plant. Yeah. 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 Well, 
one thing that strikes me about the shop is just the diversity and you know it's not like you have cookie cutter rows of plants that are all alike there are um, just a multitude of varieties here so I have to ask you it's like choosing a favorite child but do you have favorite types of plants and examples and tell us why they are your <laughs> why they are your favorites it depends on the day yeah. um some days you know we really love a certain plant um we love all of them yes but i do have a favorite today and now this one is a crisscross begonia Ooh. which you can see all of the texture uh, you can touch it. It has like little uh, pink hairs on each yeah. bump, basically, and they are just fascinating. Yeah. Um, and this right now is kind of like one of my favorites in the shop. Um, I mean, there's definitely more yeah. that I could pick out that yeah. are favorites. Well, and this yeah. one here almost um, came into an extinction. Um, yes. Yeah, so. Whenever we bought these, the greenhouse owner was telling us how in the 60s, these apparently almost went extinct. Wow. Um, and they've finally, like, you know, brought them back. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of popular now, but mm -hmm. still yeah. very unique and mm -hmm. different. As a begonia, does it flower? Now, these ones, I don't think they flower. If they flower, I'm pretty positive it's a white flower. Uh, but like you said, I don't think they flower. I've never right. seen them flower. The patterns on the leaves are flower enough. Like it's oh, yeah. Yeah. beautiful yeah. enough yeah, without they're just the gorgeous. blossom. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Heather, how about you? Do you have a favorite? Yes. Mine is this Flamingo Dream Hoya. Flamingo it's Dream Hoya. Hoya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of close to the Crimson Princess. But with the Flamingo Hoya, or Dream Hoya, it uh, has more reds in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then they do get these really cool, uh, like it's like a cluster of waxy flowers, and they're like kind of the size of a pea, each of them on a mm -hmm. cluster. Mm -hmm. And they have like a star, and there's like three of them that are different shades of mm -hmm. like color with them. It so, sounds fast. Yeah. And they do trail, their Hoyas are really I think easy to take care of yeah. mm -hmm. they kind of like like a bright indirect sunlight mm -hmm. um, they want to be kind of their soil come dry but not like a succulent or mm -hmm. cacti dry mm -hmm. yeah it sounds like when people come here you're not just sending them home with a plant or plants you're mm -hmm. also sending them with information they need to care for the plants you know what they need in terms of lighting and yeah. And yeah. that's one of the yeah. first things we ask is what kind of lighting do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, each window in your, or part of your house, you know, mm -hmm. is facing a different direction. Um, mm -hmm. So where are you going to put it at? Mm -hmm. um, also, how often do you like to water? Yeah. Do you like to water, you know, some people like to water all the time. Other people kind of yeah. like, well, I forget. So yeah. then that helps us out as well. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of watering, you were telling me earlier that you spend a lot of time watering your inventory here in the yes. shop. Yes, <laughs> yes. Do you, um, do you water every day? And how every long, day. How long does that take? Uh, pretty much all day that we're open. Uh, okay. We have our own little watering system. Um, if you do, you know, anybody comes into the store, uh, we have like bins that we'll water them in, and then we have racks that we dry before we put mm -hmm. back on the shelves, just mm -hmm. so because of the bottoms, we don't want. Yeah. The the wood. shelves and the wood and stuff, you yeah. know, get stained. Yeah. 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 Well, I have to ask you, um, with a family business, there's always a family dynamic mm -hmm. um, in terms of your relationship. So what is it like working together as a mother and daughter? And maybe what's your secret to staying in business and, and keeping your relationship as healthy as your plants here, thriving? I feel like... It's pretty easy mm -hmm. with her and I. I mean, obviously, you have your days, days where... Days and moments, you both got to walk away. Yeah, and just, <laughs> like, take time, a deep but... breath. Um, but we're pretty good at communicating with one another. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our specialties, um, definitely, in the shop where we kind of focus on different things mm -hmm. and kind of help each other and help build this business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you ever imagine, Heather, that you would be in business one day with your daughter? No. No, I mean, 
Never did. Um, years ago, I did kind of want a business, um, but never thought I'd do it with my daughter. And yeah. It's, I enjoy it very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It must be really special having the opportunity to work together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we're together so much that sometimes she'll say something and I'm like, I just was thinking about that. So. Yeah. We're pretty insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah. for sharing a little bit more of your shop with us. Uh, thanks for watching 10 yes, Minutes. Thank you. Well, yeah. And if you want to learn more about Sagebrush Shack, the magazine article that sparked this video is in our current May, or I'm sorry, March, April issue. It looks like this. And our cover has the sign of the buck uh, on the cover. Uh, and that's where you'll, you'll find the article to learn a little bit more. It sparked this video. And while you're watching this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and feel free to watch some of our additional videos that are out there. For Celebrate Gettysburg Magazine, I'm Karen Hendricks.